What's up everybody, Tony here from Dino Stomp Inc. And I know I think I originally said today was going to be a gameplay video, but I changed my mind. <laughs> I uh, am actually going to be doing a taste test video for today, which is actually going to make up both videos this week. I have a t this one for today and another taste test will go up on Friday. And of course the podcast on Wednesday. By the time you're seeing this, the new episode of the podcast, episode 37, the first part of the Turtle Power commentaries, which I ended up doing more of a review. So going forward, that's going to be more of an episode-by-episode episode review. That episode is up. I know it went up late. It was supposed to go up Wednesday and then Saturday, and it ended up going yesterday because you're seeing this Monday, so it ended up going on Sunday. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, I'll have a better planned schedule going forward. But today, my wife and I were doing a little bit of grocery shopping at our local Aldi in Pennsylvania, and we saw a few things that caught our eye, and I was like, you know what? These would be good for a taste test and also something that, if I like them enough, I can take them to work as a snack for work and this one caught my eye it is a uh, cheddar flavored cauliflower crackers so they're vegan you can see they're gluten free 44 crackers per serving <laughs> what the heck this is to say i'm not eating 44 crackers in this video <laughs> but yeah so they're they're gluten free they're vegan friendly and they're cauliflower crackers so i thought this could be Something interesting to try for people out there that might like um, cauliflower, was it cauliflower pizza, where it's like the cauliflower crust. I've had that in the past, and I've actually really liked it. So I thought this would be a lot of fun and kind of cool to try out. They look a lot like uh, Cheez-Its. They smell a little weird. They don't smell gross. They just smell kind of weird. Oh, I can see why it's 47. They're like very, very... I'm trying not to drop this. Okay, I'm going to set this here. They're very, very thin. Try and block my face here if I can. Yeah, you can see it's very thin. It's got some of that seasoning on there. If I hold it like this, you can see... Kind of... How thin of a cracker that actually is. Yeah, so there you go. We'll see. We'll see if this tastes like a cheese it. That's I guess what we'll compare it to, a vegan version of a cheese it. Oh wow. That's actually really good. I didn't know what to expect. Like I kind of figured you might taste the cauliflower in it, but you actually don't. It's crunchy, but it's very easy to go through because it's like as thin as a sheet of paper, really. Hopefully you bring some wipes with you because you can see it gets all over your fingers. But no, I don't taste the cauliflower at all. It literally just tastes like a thin, crisp cracker. With really good cheddar cheese on it. I also noticed it does say it's a non-GMO project, and that's verified. But simply nature. Yeah, these are really good. Like, these are definitely a good snack. And a healthy alternative. So this is like a healthy alternative. Hey, says video. I've been actually wanting to eat a little bit healthier for a while now anyway. While I'm still stuffing my face with these because they're so good. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... If I was going to rate this on, like, a... Like a scale count of 10, I would, get, I would actually give this a 10 out of 10. It's exploding with flavor. Honestly, I think the flavor on this might even be more powerful and stronger than the flavor I've had on Cheez-Its, which is saying a lot because your boy loves him or loves me some white cheddar Cheez-Its. But yeah, cauliflower crackers, uh, really cool. Uh, go check these out. They're gluten-free. 
Um, Alt Avenge, if you watch this video, I know you're from Twitch and you mentioned about uh, gluten free on some of the stuff. So there you go. There's something gluten free for you to try out. I would definitely recommend it. These are really good. And uh, yeah, I'm really surprised I didn't taste the cauliflower at all. But I guess they're, judging from the ingredients, it looks like they're made with the cauliflower flour. So I guess they made the cauliflower into a flour to bake it. But yeah, certified gluten free, certified non GMO. 44 crackers. It looks like it's about 110 calories, which I'm assuming. 110 calories per serving for 44 crackers. So if you're a low calorie person, I don't know where that falls on that scale. I've never really studied into like low calorie diets or anything like that. All I know is it's good. <laughs> it's healthier. And uh, I would definitely recommend it. So yeah, good job to Simply Nature on those cauliflower crackers. Like I said, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. And yeah, if you like this video and you want to see more taste test videos in the future, please be sure to hit that like button for your boy. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel, hit that little notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. I used to only do gaming videos, but now I do gameplays, as you can see with this video, taste tests, and also trailer reactions. I also want to thank you all because the views on that Mortal Kombat trailer reaction I did about a week or so ago have like skyrocketed to over 100 views. And that's definitely the highest viewed video on my channel since starting it last year. So thank you for the tremendous support on that. I know that my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge trailer review from last Friday is already, I think it's almost at 30 views already as well, which is growing rapidly in terms of views. So those of you watching, thank you so much for watching. Those of you who are subscribed, thank you so much for being subscribed. Continue to share the channel with your friends and tell them all about it. Hopefully we can continue to grow this community and entertain people and give people ideas for foods to try like this. And yeah, thank you all so much for your support. Drop a comment below if you've ever tried this or if you think you would try this or if there's something like this that you'd like to see me in a future video. Drop a comment below and let me know that too. I love interacting with you all. And yeah, but that's going to do it for this video. And uh, once again, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video. But until then, keep on stomping everybody.